You turn on the radio and it's playing a song. Your memory reminds you of a sensation. It moves you. You laugh, dance, cry and get upset. It's inevitable. You have reacted. What happens to us with music? The way we perceive music, it's very different of the process of hearing it. The sound can be measured, but the hearing sensation abides a subjective criteria. The process of perception takes place in an organ that captures the stimulation, the brain. The brain doesn't read this information like a music player, but upon receiving the signal, it recognizes it. The brain distributes the stimulation to many regions of the brain that recognizes and interprets it. My last the sound waves go in through the ear channel and then it analyzes by the amplifying the sharp sounds. When the eardrum vibrates, it communicates with the cochlea, an organ with a spiral shape that contains cells called stereocilia. They are like thin tubes of different sizes. The shorter ones resonate with sharp sounds, while the larger ones resonate with deep notes and have a lower frequency. The cochlea, with the help of the stereocilia and the basal membrane, divides the sound into different signals for each frequency interval. Like, they are traveling through our different channels, so that the auditory nerve can transmit these signals to the brain. The basal membrane is found within the cochlea, and it's responsible of the response of the human ear that recognizes small variations of the pressure in the air if they are in the range of the audible frequencies. That is, pressure variation less than a trillionth of the atmospheric pressure. Once the sound is received, it makes its first stop in the thalamus, the brain center, that identifies the note and the volume of the tone. That's why it's not enough to recognize them as music. There are auditory cortexes that exist in both sides of the brain, cortexes that analyze harmony, melody, and rhythm. All of this information goes through other brain parameters that allow us to complete the process of interpretation musical sound and definitely respond to them in a special way. There are many elements that integrate our reactions to our music. All of them are bound to our emotions. It has been proved that it can be a positive therapy or makes us react negatively in our mood. It goes in by the form of minimal frequencies and vibrations, but in many times it improves our mood in an unimaginable way. If you wish to know more about music and your brain, we invite you to watch our episode about this topic in the first season. Learn, comment and share. All with Vitamina C.